up against Crosby Cole Pinto. We're going to start with a replay opening ride of Sammy Pupo. Well, Sammy Pupo taking advantage of that little slither of sand that came around overnight. And it's a small wave here. Hits a bit of a de dead section. He'll stick with it. He's having a look over his shoulder. And his opponent did get one. Here's Crosby Cole Pinto's first wave. Wow, there are, this is that sand I talked about. Look at that. It's just got a nice little section that leads into this. And Crosby, this way of having a bit more body than Sammy's. And, uh, oh, a great shot there in between the crowd. And this is an awesome couple of moves here by Crosby Colapinto. Looks like he got the better of this exchange, Kaipo. No doubt, especially with that just torquing finish. Uh, João Chianca is going to go home to Brazil after a brilliant run in... Australia. Here we go, Samuel Pupo. Nice opening car. One more. Just keeping that board on the rail. A little variety with a layback snap. Wave is going a little sleepy there and hits a, just a flat section in the bank. And Samuel Pupo's second ride. Yeah, well, this wave here, it's all in that first couple of turns. And it's a, it's a pretty good open face. We don't know what it looks like down the line, but it peters out pretty fiercely right there. He's, um, he's put himself down with his opponent, and there goes Crosby. Crosby, wave number two, utilizes priority. Colapinto has to skip around this section. Yeah, no turns yet. He hasn't been able to get to work. He's looking. And, and see, that's where when you get that new bank, that new sand coming around, it, gets, it sort of starts pretty hollow, and then it hits a flat spot. Mm because the sand hasn't reached in. And whereas we know down the beach, as we see a wide one. Yeah, Crosby sprint paddling to this one, identified it, float to start. And this one's gonna connect. There's a tail throw maneuver there. Nice carve. Crosby with a paced approach so far. And he's going to take the lead with that effort. Crosby Colapinto finding a wide one. Here's another look at it. Doing battle here. Yeah, doing battle. Sort of white water foam climb here. And as you come around, you can see there's just these little sort of lumpy sections he's got to make the most of. Right there, there's ridges all over that wave. Kind of, you know, there's a nice little tail slide. Again, nothing major there. So, you know, these aren't big points, are they, Kaipo? Yeah, but, you know, my second look at this, even though he did have to battle with this wave, is um, if he just, if he gets, you know, higher than a mid-range score, which I feel he's going to get, he's really going to put put uh, Samuel Pupo in a lot of pressure. And he's going to get that mid-range score from early indication. Okay, so this replay we're watching right now is a 5.67. Yep. And talking about pressure to Pupo, this 5.67 is going to be a valuable number. Under priority, Crosby Colapinto is interested in that insider. Nothing going there. You take a look at the swell today, Bugs. Any kind of um, idea of what we're looking at as far as size and period and direction? It is a beautiful wave, however, and you get one of these, just one of these connectors, and that will make your day, week, year. Here's Sammy Pupo trying to make his way. Sharp opening turn by Pupo, throws the tail there. Samuel torquing into that third turn. Now the wave goes sleepy, wants a connection, needs a connection, has to struggle on the inside, forces a finish. Definitely his best effort. He should reduce the requirement with that effort. I don't know if he's going to hit the mark at all. I don't know if that was an excellent wave with our Boost Mobile replay. Yeah, it's got that good down-the-line feel to it, point break. And he's sinking down the line. Oh, that was a great move right there, Kaibo. Big points on that one. So he's got this little ridge in front of it. It, it dies there now. He knows he needs to just to get a, a bit of a finish, and he does. Those first couple of turns, though, these are the money turns. This one right here, this is just Samuel Pupo at his marvellous best. Oh, man. You can really appreciate it in slow motion. 
just the rail and the torque that he puts into these turns. And Samuel might go, you can get to a point where you go even deeper and the guy in, you know, say blue can't even catch this wave. He's sitting in deeper water. Chip in here for Sammy Pupo. Little opening carve there. One more time. Looking down the line, throws the air, reverse. He's found the bank. It's a smallish wave, but it's hitting the bank nicely. A couple of nice carves here, and then exclamation mark finish. Check this out in slow motion on the Boost Mobile replay. Looking to manufacture a score there, right behind him. Crosby Colapinto. Crosby, check turn, taps his way to a lip bash and make it two. Crosby gets the finish as well. So we'll be waiting for the numbers on that exchange and see how that affects the standing here at the 12 minute mark. Crosby right behind him, Bugs. Yeah, nice exchange here between the two combatants. So Crosby, kind of a setup move here. He's a, he's a bit of a, takes the top off this way. There's a dynamic finish there by Colapinto. Now look at this finish in slow motion. What a great contrast their finishes, right? And where are they going now? This is so cool. Here's a bit of a wide wave. Sammy's got priority. Take a look at this one. Samuel Pupo up and riding. A little car. Oh, dynamic turn there. Has to get over the hump and makes the connection. Samuel Pupo now can start unloading and needs to hang on. But what about Samuel right here, able to connect all the way through? Yeah, this is, when I, this is an interesting looking wave. That's a stinging move there. Gets over this little hump here. Oh yeah, and now he gets two more. That's a beauty. And he finishes it so solid. Does he ride clean out of this and... Crosby behind him. Bangs the oncoming section. And a redirect and a fist pump by Crosby as well. Well, we only saw the end of that. And Crosby usually doesn't do the, the, the big acclamations unless he does something serious. He doesn't <laughs> fake it. <laughs> this is the, the bottom of the bracket against two guys that have just been the form surfers. Look at these turns by Crosby Bugs. Yeah, and he gets his finish in here. And... Well, it looks like some waves right here. We'll see the positioning of our surfers. We got one surfer way up on the bank there. It's gonna be Samuel Pupo. And that's the Uber ride you were talking about right there, repositioning himself. Yeah, well, and that's the second time he's had to get his leg rope off his front foot. <laughs> Their team, now we're at the GWM, two minute warning and things get real for Crosby Colapinto. Yeah, has a look over his shoulder once again. I think he's gonna head down the beach. This is so cool, I mean, you know, the, the, it's not a clear bank this year. There wasn't much in it, but he found every single bit of that bank. That new slither of sand might have got him through this semi-final. Samuel. Just going down the line. Nothing he can do because he's under the priority. Joao Shianka applauding because Samuel Pupo, his good friend, is going to be Emai Kalani Devault in the men's final. Here's the numbers.